Mark Art Premium Colored Pencils. They finally arrived today with the post and I'm so happy. I cannot wait to swatch these. And yes, I'm going to swatch all 120 because I really want to do it. Um, until now I was like, eh, I have never done that because it's just... It's not my thing to swatch 120 colored pencils. I it's just not fun but after i saw these colored pencils i was like i have to swatch all of them because i really want to know if the colors uh, fit to the color of the barrel because it looks so nice they look so nice so let's just check out what we have here you will see a little bit bigger bump here i really hope the colored pencils um did not get smashed too hard so i hope they survived this they look okay inside but still this means something heavy hit this my package how did this happen why so yeah uh, no possibility here to change them or complain so i'm i have to keep them and i really hope they are okay so um what do they say here actually that they are professional oil, oil colored pencils well first let's clarify professional maybe but these colored pencils do not have any light fastness information and i did watch some youtube videos where uh, the people tested their light fastness by putting um some swatches on the windows and yes a lot of colors actually completely disappeared so do not expect these to be light fast they are more for your work in the coloring book or for work from which you are going to make some prints of so let's see what we have inside so yes as i said they were a little bit all over the place that's why there are some green here and they are not really ordered because I had to put them back inside. They were like all over the place. So, but still, I mean, except for one pencil and that is the black one, which is unfortunately broken. The tip is broken. There are all the others seem fine. So I really hope that uh, the core did not break because they did arrive from from the US so <laughs> and let's keep one and see what information we have on them actually it's a little bit difficult to read because it's actually also difficult for me to read this uh, painting colored pencil then there is some number M eight six zero six and it's written mark art and there ah there are, there is more information made in china expert and we have n 119 as the number interesting 119 what is this one this is 14 hmm okay I just check some random random number this one is 80 okay that will be quite interesting but I mean these colors look so nice really they look really really nice but these colors are the exactly those colors that I saw that vanished completely after the sun when the sun was shining on them so just keep that in mind i did not do the test i i can put the link in the description if you are interested about that um but yeah i saw a video where these colors just vanished and there was i think some one purple that became blue or mint green actually it became mint green so what we have also in the box is a swatch of colors but yeah, let's do my own swatching. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna do the swatch on my swatching card. Uh, I increased it or actually decreased the size uh, just to have more space to swatch. <laughs> Because the other uh, swatch cards which I made, they were, I think, around maybe 90 or no, not not 100 pencils, but something like that could fit on them, but not not enough, not enough for these ones. I, but right now, I think I have one row too, many, too much. I will have to adjust that. So let's just start. I really want to see how they are. Okay, at least they, they, they are not dry. I don't like really dry cold pencils. Let's see. Okay, okay, this is more gray, but it, it is okay till now. Let's see another one. Let's see another one. I have to get some feeling for them. Okay, this one is also nice. They do not feel so slippery. Okay. Okay, let's do the next one. I mean, I, I cannot say anything big about them right now because uh, I'm still these colors are still really pale, so cannot really say a lot about it. I don't see if, the, if I'm covering all the paper. Hey, I'm also a little bit tired. I woke up pretty early today, so... And was actually sitting in front of, of my PC for like 8 hours. So I'm pretty tired. Yeah, the numbers really did are all over the place, so uh, maybe I should, I don't know if I should have ordered them according to, to the numbers or colors. Because this is number 10 and this is number 3, but I do have to say they are really vi nicely vibrant, and nicely vibrant. Let's continue. And the thing that I like about them immediately is that they are not dry, they are not scratchy and I really really hope that when I get to the green ones that the green ones will not be scratchy because until now not all but the majority of the colored pencils, budget colored pencils which I tried had the green ones like really really dry. But these, these colors are really nicely saturated, so that's... And they, they feel nice in the hand, they actually... Do I have a polychromos here? This is not the polychromos. Uh, maybe this is just a second. No, this is Stabilo actually. Oh, wow. Why do I have a Stabilo here? I have to put that one away. What is this? Is this polychromos? Yes, this is polychromos. Just want to see the I'm not gonna compare them to each other but yeah the mark art are a little bit yes they, they are thinner now that I have the polychromos in my hand I can definitely say that these these ones are thinner but they feel nice in the hand they definitely I think it's the the material this is the Brutpunner, which I'm now like moving around in my hand from the thickness. They look almost the same actually. I think they are the same from the thickness. Mm, maybe the core of this one, of the mark art is just a tiny bit thicker could be could be uh i cannot say for sure but they feel nicer in the hand i think it's it's this 
this nice coverage and slippery uh, coating. I think that's it. These are more, yeah, I, I like them. I like this. It's actually the same feel as with Polychromos. It's the same coating thing. And it is nice in the hand. It is really nice. I like it. I can easily turn the colored pencil around. Yeah. Did I swatch this one? No, I did not swatch it till the end. <gasps> I almost forgot. Yes. I did not swatch it till the end. Thank God I'm doing these this light layers and then heavier layers. And no, no, no. This one is a little bit dry. Okay, but it's only one till now, so not really dry, just a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, this one also. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so today I had the whole day English class. Um, it's business English, so not school English, but OMG, it was like the whole day just talking in English and now I'm filming and talking in English again. Okay, I'm going crazy. But it was it was actually fun. It was um, actually a new way of learning English. Of course, as I said, it is not a beginner's English, so... We are not learning how to say some things or similar, but um, we did play some games and I, I found us that really nice. It was a, a new way of learning and I was able to remember stuff. I should have put that, this one here up there. Uh, it does matter. Yes, it does matter. Because I will not be able to remember the number. These three look so similar, my god. Um, 71. It is 71. I just need something to write. So this one was, as I said, 71. 71. Uh, this one was 13. And this one was 9. The rest I will fill out later. This is just now because of this one which I've put up there. Yeah, so um, our teacher, met mentor, I really do not know how to call him. I actually, because yeah, he's, it's not a school English, so I mean, he's not really a teacher. Um, I would say a mentor. So he designed a game where, so you create your character and then you go around in, in the world he designed. And you talk to different characters and they all ask you questions. So your the point is that you get some uh, special keys in order to finish the game. But to get those keys, you have to answer some questions in English. Yes. So you have to use some um, business words and otherwise you are not going to get the, the keys. But it, it's so fun, so and actually pretty challenging. Uh, there was this one part where we we had to uh, find out, it was like a mystery. We had to find out information about um, different people. There were five people living in a hotel, hotel, staying in a hotel, sorry, staying in a hotel. And we had to find out uh, which person is in which room, uh, what, what does 
that person do hobbies uh, some other and more information about them and everything was just clues you know you really had to think about english oh my god this, this, this color is also really nice you had to think about um english and sentences there and how the things could correlate and fit together and that was actually i have to say it was really really good i liked it more than than just sitting in the classroom and the teacher professor or whatever he talks about stuff and you are like you're gone you're just thinking about other things and not paying attention and this was actually a completely different thing um it was fun and also during the second session yeah as i said it was the whole day uh, during the second session we also were doing some exercises and that was you really did not have time like to be bored or to think about something else because there were just questions and coming and coming and he would ask all of us uh, for answers and you had to think and say the words and find the words and it was really fun really really i had so much fun uh, we will see if i will <laughs> manage to do the exam but it was really fun to do it and i really like these colors i'm so happy i bought mark art um the reason why i bought mark art and not nayoni because i mean i'm not sure but from what i've heard nayoni and mark art are the same colored pencils but uh when i checked the prices the nayoni colored pencils were like two times expensier than the mark art for whatever reason i forgot to put one here but what can we do um so they were like uh, two times expensier than mark art and then yeah of course i took mark art why not and if the people are saying that these colored pencils are the same and that they feel and look look the same like okay then i will take the cheaper ones <laughs> and as i said so i cannot say for myself that these ones are the same as the nayoni because i never tried nayoni colored pencils but i do like these ones i do like mark art until now till now we will see if that will remain like that they did the but they are nice they are saturated and they're really not slippery i can go a little bit of course all colored pencils become slippery at some point but i really can get a nice saturation before i start to feel that i cannot lay them down anymore and this is light pressure and you can see that also with light pressure they do uh, give out color so that's really nice yes am i coming ah no i still have a couple of more and then i will be uh, with those three colored pencils where the barrel looked like 99.99 percent the same uh, but the core did look differently so yeah i want to see which color is that exactly now because i'm coming to them i'm coming i still i have two more and then i will be doing those color pencils so we will see how these ones perform i do like um until now till now okay i do like them more than brute funer i have um, the brute funer round with the black coloring and i also had 
the square ones i already sold the square ones because i did not like them so much i it's just my opinion if you like them i'm so i'm happy for you and if they work for you that's great they just did not work for me um so now let's see we have this is the first one this is the second one we interesting okay and we have one more and this is the last one ah, this is so funny it's so funny okay so we have this one and then we have this one and then we have this one so i'm not sure if you can probably not the lighting lighting is not so good maybe like this okay so maybe this this barrel is a little bit a tick different than these two but these two barrels really look the same um but the color that is on the paper is not the same and something more the color that is on the paper is definitely not the same as this color <laughs> oh this is so funny yeah I, I really do not know how that happens like how can it be that this one is so dark here and then you lay it down and then you get color like that i think this one is is a nicer fit it almost fits it fits pretty well actually this one uh the is a darker one than what is on the paper but it still goes in the right direction but the barrels like <laughs> are so similar so similar I could have probably filled also that one. Hmm. Ah, well, too late. Yeah, so let's come back to this. Um, English course so that is a, like a crush course in business English uh, because we had it two times now two whole days there will be um, I think one more day and that's it then there will be the exam so whew, a lot to learn we really did do a lot of things in two days so that will be interesting also. I like to say interesting a lot of times. I'm just rearranging these colored pencils. Pencil. Okay, so I did arrange them just a tiny bit at least so that I do not have green in the middle of the purple ones. At least that. And now let's continue. But really, until now, these all the colors are so nice. They look so nice. And next week there is also another part of the course course that i'm doing oh hey, this is the one no no this is not the, the one that i thought it looked gray gray but this is a nice color yeah this is the one that i was actually searching in all the other uh, sets of colored pencils and i did not have it but this one looks really nice so now let's see this one the barrel seems more like gray so let's see what we have here okay mm. it could be it could be like a darker gray with the 
hint of purple. It could pass like that. Okay, this one is definitely on the wrong place, but whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the person who is going to go crazy just because uh, one color is not on its in its place. Yes, I do like when the colors are sorted out, but I will... <laughs> Not do the swatch all over again just because this color is here. So I think I'm just too too lazy to do that. And another thing that I do not use are the colored pencil cases. It's just not my thing. Uh, I never liked the cases i hate putting the colors like the pencils one after another into the case that's it it drives me crazy it really it drives me crazy i know i'm probably in the minor minority with this uh, feeling or thoughts about the colored pencil cases but they are just not for me. I, I'm not enjoying that. I I usually keep my um, colored pencils either in their original cases or as it was the case it is the case with my polychromos and Pablos. I have those um, storage draw cases. No, wait. How is that called? It's called drawer box, office drawer box, exactly. Uh, I think it's called like that. So I bought ones that are like so thin, they are like have really thin draw drawers. I cannot say that word, Dr drawer, drawer. It's in the drawer. Okay. Um, yeah, so. I bought uh, the one that has like those thin drawers, so you get how many? Maybe 10 or 12 drawers in uh, one box. So I have all of my pastel, uh, soft pastels inside, my colored pencils, I have, what else do I have? I, I keep my brushes there, I keep Mm, my graphite uh, pencils stuff like that and then there are those ones with which have the thicker drawer the bigger ones and in those ones i usually store either papers or i put like some liquids uh, like this like masking fluid or something so th that's those things are then in those drawers and why i like them is because i just like pull it out and i have all my pencils here if i want to work for example with polychromos so i have all the polychromos there i do not need to pull out every time a single pencil okay i can pull it out but i will definitely not put it back in in the pencil case no i'm just I don't know, should I say too lazy for that? Yeah, I'm just too lazy for that. I would never do that. No, no, no. And I have to say, I love them. I love these colored pencils. They are nice. They are nice. Okay, so I think let's just speed up this a little bit. At least until I get to the darker green ones, because those are the ones that are usually scratchy.
bit scratchy. So let's see what will happen. Ah, I hear, yeah, it's a little bit drier than the rest. Mm hmm. I really don't know why that is, but the green ones, I don't know what they use for pigments. Oh, yeah, I hear it. Ah. Why? Why? Maybe it will go away. Maybe it's just some tiny part that I need to scratch away. Mm, it, it's coming every now and then. Let's see. Do I have some paper here? Mm -hmm. Actually, not a lot of paper. Okay, let's just use this Amazon. Ah, I can hear it. Let's see. Yeah, it still has that dry part. Whatever that part is. So I know for sure that the one from Brute Funnel, which is the most scratcher one, is almost the same color. So this one is also a little bit dry and it is, it was scratchy a little bit. Yeah, it has also some parts in it. Yeah, this one is as well drier than the rest. But at least it's not scratchy. Dry, but not so scratchy. felt a little bit under pigmented I don't know why okay 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 you do not have to be so scratchy please but yeah but this one was the worst one this one here so actually I'm through with the green ones I'm honestly not sure if this is a green one or gray. Let's just see. Ah, yes, this is more gray. Oh, is there a hint of green? Maybe there is a tiny, tiny bit. Hmm, maybe I'm imagining it. Not so sure. Maybe also this one. But yeah, the, the thing is, this one is not dry. It's not scratchy. So, I really do not know what they put in these green, green ones that they get so scratchy. But okay, now let's continue. <laughs> only one which was broken in the, in the box and I was 
really glad that none of the others, at least I did not notice that they broke. So let's just sharpen this one and see if it can actually sharpen nicely. I really hope so. Oh. Okay. This was not good. It seems that this one is really faulty. I, I'm gonna try another sharpener. Okay, uh, just for, for to be sure, because I have different kind of sharpeners and this one is the one I actually use for Prismacolors and as you can see, the sharpener is it sharpens the pencils like really small just they look just like the prismas when you get them for the first time and what kind of sharpener is this if you want to know this is the sharpener that is actually used used for the eyeliner pencils you know because i know i don't know if anyone noticed or looked but the eyeliners are usually uh, sharpened like this and because those pencils are really creamy and crumbly so this sharpener for the eyeliner works amazing for for prismacolors and right now because i was sharpening with my other sharpener which i usually use and this one works fine for other colored pencils um i used it and the pencil broke again so i did not want to take a chance another one so i took this small one so let's see our dark color of course when you are using this small sharpener the colored pencil will um this looks really matte let me just see it's an okay black so it's it's not the best black that i have seen till now so it's not really really deep black it is a little bit muted black and the last colored pencils that i have are so i suppose let me just see what kind of is this i cannot say if this is gold i mean it looks like a really dark gold but it is, is it metallic? Mm, actually, no. Oh, I was expecting this one to be metallic. It is not. Okay. So this one, I definitely put in the wrong section. Now let's check this one. Okay, this is this is so this one is gold i think you can see the shine here and the last one will be <coughs> sorry the last one is the silver and i actually already see the shine let's just see it Yeah, so these two are shining definitely, this one not, so uh, I was a little bit confused that it was colored, almost metallic, but maybe I'm just wrong. Hmm. Yeah, could be. Well, either way, I'm really happy. I am really happy with this set. So yes, there were those green ones, I think this one and this one, this one looked muted. Um, the scratchy ones, these were a little bit more dry, but it's only these here. The other ones are really creamy and not scratchy at all. And you can get a nice saturation. And I really, really like them. And what I liked the most were, were actually these, were these colors here down there, because this is what I was expecting from all the other sets where I got these kinds of colored pencils. I hope you can see like these colors 
and usually in the other sets when you swatch this what you get is just like a gray you you usually just get gray color but this one looks really nice this was this one has a hint of green in it um this one has also a hint of um, how do you say malve malve i'm not sure i don't know how to say that word uh, a hint of that this one is also more like uh, goes in the green direction and this one is also really nice so that's and this one and this one and this one and this one uh and also these three they look quite similar but yeah they look pretty similar <laughs> but yeah these colored pencils are really nice uh what i see now when i look at them i see that actually there are no a lot of like no real gray ones so so what I see when I look at them now is that there are not a lot of gray ones. Yes, there are gray, gray, not the real gray, okay? This one has a hint of green, this one also. And this is more like a really pale beige and this is also beige. So there are no gray ones like in the other set, but I suppose almost everyone has gray ones if they have an at least one more set of colored pencils. Mm, but nevertheless, I, I really like them. Here is this one was wrong. This one should have went here somewhere. I thought it was a little bit green, but it is actually more dark gray. This dark green gray, like really deep green gray. And oh, this color is also really nice. Yeah, so I, I'm definitely happy that i bought this set uh, i'm not regretting it now and yeah guys so i will not do any more tests now May, uh, i will probably do that in another video because i'm pretty tired um but it was still fun swatching all these colored pencils and yeah i'm gonna hit the hay i learned that today so I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you had fun. Uh, watch my other videos, subscribe if you liked and see you next time. Bye!